Hey guys, it's Lori. I got a grocery haul for you today. I went to Aldi and I went to Walmart. So let's get started with the boring stuff first. Um, yeah, okay. I got a gigantic bag of cat food. <laughs> it had a $2 off coupon on the front, so that was nice. And a gigantic bag of dog food. Okay, those came from Walmart. Um, this came from Walmart. I got some fabric softener. We like to use the snuggle. I love the smell of that. And some spray and wash. And I got, oh, Brendan has these plugins in his room, so I got him some a new scent for that. And my bill came to like $155, and I didn't even get that much from, from Walmart. But um, all this stuff that I'm showing you so far came from Walmart. This is part of the reason. I had to get flea treatment, so yeah. Exciting, huh? And I got a, a small, a short thing of foil. I already have some foil, but it's the long one, so I needed some short. Because I don't like to use the long one if I don't need a big piece like that. It's a waste. So anyway, um, and I got a new mouse because mine, I ordered it from Amazon, and it's, this is what it is. It sucks. I don't like it at all. The roller thing doesn't work. It just makes the page jump, 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 and it, it drives me nuts. So this is the kind I had for years, and the only reason I don't have it anymore is because I lost that tiny little thing that you plug into the side. I lost it. So anyway, I got a new one. Um, this came from Aldi. I'm going to try their dryer sheets. Brendan likes their dryer sheets. He likes, I mean, he likes to use dryer sheets, so I thought we'd try Aldi's and see how that works. I got some maple extract. You'll find out what that's for. Some of you probably suspect what it might be for. Anyway, I got some more of this sugar-free, uh, what's it called? G. Hughes sugar-free hickory barbecue sauce. I didn't think I'd like the hickory. I do. I love this. This is really good barbecue sauce. And I'm particular when it comes to sugar-free stuff. If I don't like it, I just won't use it. Anything. You know, like I just would eat it without sauce or whatever. But yeah, that's really good though. And I needed some more protein powder. I've been using this isolate protein powder more expensive but it's easier on the belly easier on the tummy so yeah I can chug that down in a protein shake real quick and it doesn't give me an upset stomach so yeah um oh one more boring thing paper towels I got a gigantic thing of paper towels from all these okay on to the food items let's do the refrigerator stuff I got another one of those gigantic bags of sharp cheddar cheese shredded sharp cheddar five pound bag. We go through this like crazy you guys. I didn't think we would but we do. So anyway, that actually came from Walmart. The rest of this, um, I believe the rest of everything came from Aldi's. I don't know if you can see it over there on my stove top. There is three gallons of milk, 98 cents a gallon at Aldi's here in my area. I got some romaine lettuce. Um, we've been eating a lot of salads lately. I got two heads of cauliflower. It looks really nice, and they had it on sale at Aldi's for $1.79, so I'm going to be making some of that tonight because I have steaks out. I don't know if you can see them back there. You might be able to see them. I have some steaks out of the freezer for supper tonight, so yeah, I'm going to make some cauliflower with that, and a head of iceberg to go with the romaine for, to make a big salad. Got some more mozzarella. Um, oh, this is from um, Walmart. There is one more thing from Walmart. And it is a roast, a beef roast. Look at that yellow sticker. Quick sale. It's just an eye of round roast, but I'll cook this in the crock pot all day with some veggies in there with it or something, and that'll be yummy. I got a big, huge package of the ground beef that I'll probably split up into a separate pack, probably like two different packages, honestly. I don't know, maybe three. We'll see. I got this at Aldi's. This was on sale for $1.89 a pound. And it's just chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. I got two packages of those. And one of the things I'm going to do with those is make the bacon wrapped barbecue chicken, which I'll use this barbecue sauce for, the sugar free barbecue sauce, and the center cut bacon that I got from Aldi's. I got two packs of that. So. And I picked up some more cheese, two Colby's, and a mild cheddar. And I got three of these half and halves. Of course, I did. And I got uh, one heavy cream. I use the heavy cream in the morning just for my first cup of coffee in the morning to make a bulletproof coffee. 
So I use heavy cream, MCT oil, and the unsalted butter. So, and I still have some Kerrygold that I'm using. Also from Aldi's, I picked up a case of water. These are little short bottles. Those are the ones I like. I got two of the unsweetened almond milk. I got this from Aldi's and I had cashew milk before, but I only buy that if it's on sale or if I have a coupon or something. And we do like cashew milk, but the almond milk is fine. And that is, I got two of them because I'm completely out. And also because I'm gonna be doing a recipe. I got some chopped pecans. I got a bag of chia seeds. I have some left from a small bag that I had, but not enough for a recipe that I'm gonna be doing. I'm looking at you guys all weird when I say that because it's a challenge. So, yeah. Anyway, I got a couple cans of black beans and that's gonna be for the weekend. We're gonna make some chili and I probably will only use one can, but they're a little bit higher in carbs, but we do allow ourselves a little bit more carbs on the weekends. And as long as I'm lifting, um, as long as we're lifting, the carbs are okay. And we are back out lifting again. So, back at it. Um, I got two of the K-Cups that I like from Aldi's. My favorite K-Cups. I got, well these aren't low carb at all, but I did get some, some sandwich buns for the kids. Um, I also got, let me throw this across the room. I got some Sucralose. Aldi's version of Splenda. I got, again, this isn't really low carb. One of these has 16 grams of carbs and nine fiber. So it's not the lowest carb that you can get. If you're doing strict keto, you're probably not going to be able to fit this in your macros. But uh, as long as we're lifting, like I said, we can do a little bit higher carbs. And these work for us. And these are really, really good. Really good. And one piece is a serving. So um, yeah, they're pretty good sized. I can be fine with a half, a half a one. So yeah. They're not as big as the big um, lavash breads, lavash flatbread that you can get. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but these are um, still pretty good sized. So a half a piece is fine with me. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, okay. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll come back with the recipe video in the next couple days. Okay. See ya.